Hi. Thank you. It's very nice. Next time, just go on a walk with me. I'd love that as well. Whether you've tried to befriend Ginger before, or if this is your first attempt, you'll quickly notice she's a lot harder to befriend than the other NPCs in my time at Portia. But there are a few things you can do to speed up this process. The main problem is that she doesn't like gifts nearly as much as the others do. Take her brother Gust, for example. His most loved gift will net you 30 friendship points, with a couple of 15 point options that are available right from the start of the game. Ginger, however, has a most loved gift that's worth only 4 points. And while some of her 3 point gifts are available early on, you need to spend plenty of time and money grinding at the round table games room to buy them. If you take the giver skill, you can add an extra point to this, but it's not even close to the other NPCs. Talking with Ginger nets you the same amount of points as it does for the others, which is a measly one point, or two if you've picked up the smooth talk skill. The most straightforward way to befriend Ginger is just to grind her friendship points by talking to her every day and bringing her something easy. I recommend the Rainbow Lemonade, which can be bought at the round table at a base price of 52 golds. And remember that any gifts you give during an event will count for double the points. With that aside, here are some tricks to speeding up the friendship process. Number 1. Progress the storyline. Ginger loves to hear stories, and if you chat with her after a major story event, like beating the Rat Prince on Amber Island, she'll thank you for the tale and you'll gain 20 friendship points. Number 2. Accept her commissions. Now in early friendship, Ginger will send you a letter commissioning three pieces of topaz from you. The wiki page says that this letter is triggered only when you're at buddy stage friendship with her, but I received it when we were still strangers. When you go to deliver the topaz, you'll be given an option to deny payment. If you choose it, she will insist on paying you anyway, but you'll gain 20 friendship points for your generosity. Number 3. Besting her in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I am unfortunately kidding. This frail woman will not actually fight you, but Gus will spar with you in her place. You can challenge Ginger up to three times per day. By winning the first round, you win one friendship point with Gus. By winning the second round, you gain one point with each of them. In round three, you fight both Gus and Russo, which I was apparently underleveled and undermotivated to do here. But if you do win, you will gain three points with Ginger and two points with each of the others. Number four, befriending her family. This is by far the best way to speed up the friendship that I've seen. As you grow closer to either Gust or Gale, your friendship will rise with Ginger. When you move up a friendship tier with either of them, you will get 12 or 13 points with Ginger. That may not sound like a lot, but that's three days worth of gifts and chatting, so it's worth befriending her family when you have the chance. And sometimes you'll get lucky. Those points will put you over into a new tier with a different person, which will result in an avalanche of points all at once. And like I said before, the other NPCs are a lot easier to befriend than Ginger is, especially her brother. You'll naturally come across some books that he loves to receive if you're digging for parts boxes in the ruins anyway. Success! Playdates. Once you reach the buddy friendship tier with Ginger, you can take her out and earn as many friendship points as you would for any other NPC. If you have enough levels to play with, you can also unlock the Social Maniac skill, which lets you plan dates with mere associates though this is more realistic as a later game skill. But whenever you manage to unlock dates with Ginger, she becomes almost as easy to befriend as anyone else. Because, like she always says, You really don't have to spend so much time preparing gifts. I'd rather you come see me more. <laughs>